So as I kind of hinted over the past few months, I have been experimenting with making cards. I've always made cards, but it hasn't been something that I've shown on this channel with any level of frequency. Since being on YouTube for the past almost nine years, even though I love scrapbooking, I'm ready to add even more content, a diversified amount of content here on the channel. So to kick that off, I have some card projects that I'm going to be adding as content here on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel, and I hope you will come along for the adventure. the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. I'm Victoria. So glad that you are here. If you love all things scrapbooking and everything in between, you're in the right place. Make sure that you subscribe and when you do click the little bell next to the subscribe button, that way you'll no be notified each and every time new content is posted to the channel. So as I mentioned, starting today, I am adding card content here to the channel. I have been on YouTube for nine years and I need to make sure that I'm keeping content fresh and new and fun and current, but also making sure that I'm challenging myself creatively as a designer. I have always loved making cards and over the past couple of years, I've really felt a tug at offering more of this content for the Victoria Marie Designs community. So starting today, we're gonna kick off with a fantastic card. It is an A2 size, a US A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, using a really fun die set from Lawn Fawn. It's summery, it's fun, it's cute. It kind of reminds me of like strawberry shortcake. It's gonna be fantastic. So without further ado, let's get right into it. For today's card project, I am using the Lawn Fawn Strawberry Patch die set. This is so super adorable with it being summer. It's so much fun to make these really nice laid back gorgeous cards to send for any occasion. I love all the dimension and all the detail with these dies. I actually have this card project and two more card projects that I'll show you later, but this is the one we're going to make in this video. There's also this really cute basket die that's available. It's a different set, um, but you can purchase it to coordinate and make something really really cool and I'll show you that here in just a few. I also have the Lawn Fawn Thanks 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 stamp and die set so you get a four by six sheet of stamps as well as a coordinating die and you can coordinate the various different sentiments. So you can say thanks for everything or big thanks depending on what you want to say on your card. I reached in my stash and grabbed the Lawn Fawn Large Stitch 4 Bar Rectangle Die, which you'll see me use here in just a second. And I also grabbed my Taylor Expressions Dotted Lattice Embossing Folder. This is one of my favorites because not only do you get the lattice design, but it's also dotted, so it gives you sort of a stitch look. And from my stash, I grabbed an assortment of just solid cardstock, 8.5 by 11. These are all from uh, Cardstock Warehouse, both green, red, and yellow. All right, now we're ready to assemble the card. The first part in my process when I'm working with dies is to die cut all of the elements. And usually if I'm gonna mass produce a card like this, I'm gonna cut out all the elements that I need for the card in one session, and then I'm going to assemble the card in another session. So I'm gonna die cut quite a bit of the strawberries and the leaves, as well as the outlines of the strawberries. And what's gonna happen is those strawberries will layer together and the yellow will show through and kind of look like the seeds of the strawberries. And you'll see that here in a second. I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting and embossing machine to cut all of my different elements. And to keep everything organized, I have these little containers from the Target dollar spot. They're stackable, they're really great. I don't even know if they're still around. I got this several months ago. So I'm gonna put all my little strawberries as well as the strawberry backings. You'll see the yellow come through the front of the strawberry and it's gonna look like little yellow seeds. I also have the little vi the vines and the leaves there as well. Now that I have all those elements die cut, I'm gonna work on my panels for my cards. So I have a four and a quarter by five and a hint a five and a half inch white card base and it's gonna be side folding. And then I want to use this stitched border die from Lawn Fawn using the craft card stock and that's gonna give a nice stitched border detailing to that panel. And then for the red card stock, I'm gonna use the Tailored Expressions dotted lattice embossing folder. And I just love the texture that this gives. Only gonna see a perimeter of this of this panel and that's okay. I just wanted a tiny bit of that showing around that craft card stock. I'm gonna add a small shim to this because I'm not using a Spellbinders branded embossing folder. And I find that sometimes if I use other embossing folders with this machine, I need to add a shim so there's extra pressure. Look at that, that's just absolutely beautiful. I love it. All right, now before I assemble the card, I wanna go ahead and work on part of the sentiment. So part of the sentiment in this card design is stamped and die cut, and that's gonna be the word thanks. So I'm gonna select one of the thanks from the stamp set. And then underneath that, I'm gonna stamp, 
I mean it. And that's a, one of the core dating stamps with this set. To do this, I'm going to use my Misty stamp positioner, which I absolutely love. It has definitely changed the game for card making for me. And I'm also going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Since the stamp is sort of a fine design, this ink works perfectly to make sure that it's nice and detailed. I'm going to actually stamp this twice to make sure that I get a good impression, giving that a little bit of pressure with my little stamping press tool there. I'm sure there's a technical name for this tool, but I'm not thinking of it <laughs> at the moment. Applying a little bit of pressure to that stamp, not much, and now it is ready to run through my die cutting machine. So I'm going to grab the coordinating die, and I'm going to position that just using a little bit of my low tack tape. Once that's in place, I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. And then once that's cut, what I want to do is add a little bit of dimension to this particular part of the sentiment, mainly because the strawberries, and you'll see here in a second, are going to be popped up with a little bit of foam. And so I want to make sure that that stands up to the height of the strawberry. Now that all the elements are ready, it's time to assemble the card. I'm going to use two different adhesives. I'm going to use a liquid adhesive, Barely Art Glue, which is some of my favorite. And I'm also going to use some Tombow Mono permanent adhesive. The first thing I want to do is layer the red panel onto my white card base. I'm just going to apply a little bit of adhesive there to the back of the panel. And I want to make sure that I apply a good amount since I did run it through my die cutting machine using the embossing folder. Sometimes the ridges and things uh, don't stick well to a card base. So you want to make sure that you add a good amount of adhesive. To the red card panel, I'm going to adhere the craft panel as well. Notice that they are all trimmed down slightly, about an eighth of an inch around, just so that I can see the border around each of those panels. Now it's time to assemble the strawberries, and I'm going to assemble a large strawberry and two of the smaller strawberries, and you can see that I'm taking these, the smaller solid yellow strawberry outlines, if you will, and I'm going to layer the red strawberry on top of that, and what that's going to do is give the look of seeds on the strawberry. You can also use black if you want to, or whatever the color that you may have handy, that kind of gives you the look of a strawberry. Then I will repeat this step again for the two smaller strawberries. Next, I'm going to adhere, I guess it's called, I'm trying to remember the parts of the strawberry. I want to say this is called the calyx part of the strawberry, like the leafy part of the strawberry. I could be completely wrong. Let me know in the comment section if you know the parts of a strawberry. So I'm going to adhere the calyx part. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, but I'm not sure. Using a little bit of the Barely Art liquid glue, and that's just really when the strawberries just kind of pop and come together. Just really, really adorable. Once that is done, I am going to add a little bit of foam to the back of the strawberries because on the card, I want them to sort of pop up and have a little bit of height and dimension. And it won't be too bulky and that I can't send this card in the mail. I'll be able to do that perfectly fine. Now it's time to finish up the card. I'm gonna bring in the leaves, vines. Do strawberries have leaves or vines? Grapes have vines, right? I don't know. This is now turning into a name the parts of the strawberry um, video. So if you know, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and adhere these beautiful leaves. I'm going to call them leaves for now because that's just convenient. And I'm going to adhere them using a little bit of liquid glue. And I'm not going to put glue on the entirety of those die cuts. I just want them in certain parts to adhere it down because I do want some of those little leaves to kind of pop up on their own without using any additional dimension just to give it a tiny bit of texture and movement. Once those are in place, I'm going to go ahead and add the strawberries. I just want to make sure that I glue down just a couple of the leaves. So the, the larger strawberry is going to go in the middle and then layered over that just for a tiny bit will be the thanks die cut. And then underneath the thanks die cut, I'm going to stamp I mean it. And that stamp is in parentheses the way that it's styled. So I'm going to use a little bit of the VersaFine Onyx ink and I'm going to stamp that right underneath the word thanks. I just want to make sure that I have it in position. And there we go. Once that's all done, I can go ahead and adhere the strawberries, just taking off the release paper from the foam. And when this card starts coming together, it's just so magical. The whole time that I'm putting this together and working on the other projects using these strawberries, I have in my mind my love of strawberry shortcake when I was a kid. Also, strawberries are my favorite fruit. I eat strawberries pretty much every day. I absolutely love them. So this card not only is aesthetically pleasing, but, you know, it's one of my favorite fruits. And I love using elements and icons that are some of my favorites. So I'm using some teeny tiny little foam squares to pop up the word thanks. And I could add a little bit more dimension just die cutting that word with some scrap card stock to give it a little bit of dimension. But I decided to use some foam instead. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that right to the card 
and that just looks really, really beautiful. I'm just making sure that lays nice and straight. And with that, this card is complete. I had so much fun making this and I cannot wait to give it away to a friend. Also, because I had a whole bunch of those die cuts left, I have this other card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, and it says, thanks friend. And this time I used the little lattice basket and just cut that out using the craft card stock. And then here's another version, same card, this time it's top folding. I used the lattice embossing folder to create this really nice clean and simple background with that nice little spray of strawberries there in the middle with the greeting that says, so thoughtful. And with that, these card projects are done. If you enjoyed this, make sure you let me know in the comment section if you enjoy making cards that have fruit and other of your favorite embellishments using dyes and cardstock and all those fun things. And stay tuned because I have more card content to come here to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe when you do, click the bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time new content, including card content and more, comes to the channel. Thanks so much for stopping by.